Hi, I'm Susan Brewer, and I'm here with Sally Faith, Mayor of St. Charles. We would really like to quiz you a little bit about what's going on in the city of St. Charles, things that you're proud of. I've admired you for years on how organized you are, how much you do for the city, and really how much we get to as the general public as realtors get to see how well the city is run. Sally, let me turn it over to you for some good info. It's a deal, and Susan, thank you for coming. It's good to see you. Thank you. And tell your mother hi. Thank you, Please. I will. All right, and uh, there's just, and my, of course my slogan is, if it's happening, it's happening in St. Charles. Absolutely. So, um, and I know people get tired of hearing me say that, but a lot of things are going on. But the good things, and that's, uh, it takes a long time to get there, but we're getting there, yes. and, and I'm just happy. Some, a lot of the things, and I would say to you that I, um, uh, I, I love roads and bridges and transportation, mm -hmm. and I like orange cones. <laughs> <laughs> and I know that people driving around town, they just, not too sure about that, but when it's over, it's gonna be great. Absolutely, we see the development going on, and it is great. Good. And you know, uh, so that the infrastructure, the roads are the infrastructure. Um, a couple of things, or several things that are going on. Number one, I'm just really proud of Fifth Street. Mm -hmm. uh, it keeps the traffic flowing, and, uh, and of course I know the roundabout at um, Diverging Diamond, and not roundabout, but the Diverging Diamond at Highway 70 and Fifth Street, I know it's confusing. You know, but I keep reading those green signs as I go through. Now, which lane do I want to be in? And, uh, and so I make it. But it, it keeps the flow of traffic. And right. that's what uh, the roads and the betterment of is the transportation is moving people, moving things, and safe, doing it right. safely. Right, absolutely. <clears throat> and uh, Streets of St. Charles has just um, done uh, a wonderful job. It's still growing. Absolutely. There's uh, the True Hotel opened, opened up officially last week, uh, and it's uh, uh, just doing great business. And of course, the PGA was uh, tournament was here in town. Right. No, not in town, in the area, in the right. region. Right. And all the hotels were filled out here. I mean, it was just great transportation uh, and, and opportunities for, for room coverage. Mm -hmm. Um, and then uh, we've got, um, and also I just want to talk about Main Street is just, I don't just want to talk, I want to talk about Main Street and how important it is to the city. Absolutely. Um, and it's just one of the largest areas, it's a, it's a place where people uh, come on purpose. And, um, and then if I talk about that, I, I need to talk about the trolley. I love the trolley, oh, but so Main Street is a phenomenal shopping area. Yeah, it, it is, is so it? exciting. There's times where you can just stand back and watch visitors fill both sides of the road, cars parked. It's just exciting for St. Charles to see how many people use this as a destination that's it, that's the word, destination. Mm -hmm. They wanna come and, and then also, um, uh, you're right, shopping, eating, right. Uh, walking along the river, right. uh, enjoying uh, an ice cream, enjoying whatever you'd like to, be, to do on Main Street. It is just an opportunity to do that. Right. And, and the reason we started the trolley, and I'm just going to that, is that it provides conventions that are going on at the convention center they may fly in and they do not have a way to get down to mm -hmm. Main Street. Mm -hmm. And so that trolley gives them a constant circle and gives them the opportunity to stop off, have dinner, catch the trolley, go down to, um, to the uh, uh, show at AMC, right. go to, uh, and, and it just, it provides a great time. So I'll just give a few details in that it's seven days a week. This is our second year of doing it. Right. We do it from March 15th to December 31st. Uh, it's from 11.30 until 9.30 at night mm -hmm. through Saturday and 7.30 on Sunday. And also another thing, you talked about parking. Sometimes it's a little hard to park down on Main Street. You know, you know what the trolley has, has become also is that you can park at 
the convention center or you can park at Ameristar. Mm -hmm. Catch the trolley and, and, and go do what you want and come back and get your car and go on. That's perfect. And That's it is. Perfect. And you know, this year what, what we started in the second year is you can get, you have an app that you can use. And it will tell you where that trolley is and you'll know where you are so you know how you what how, how much time oh, you've got great. to shop or eat and Absolutely. so it, work, it works out really and great. sometimes we have to shop a few extra minutes oh, you know while yeah. we're waiting for the trolley oh gosh that's you know right. how terrible hey, that, I just talk you know I, I think when you said about parking all small cities yeah. and downtown st. Charles mm -hmm. is a huge city always has that growth and that's the right. need for parking and things but you know, on the reverse of that, if all these streets were empty, we've got a bigger problem. Well, so finding a little bit of parking, so. that's not a problem very whatsoever. Very much so, you're right. And just adding one more thing, that first year uh, in, uh, uh, we had over 31,000 riders. Um, and the stops are eight stops and you just go around and they just go around in circles. But an interesting thing too, is that when we had the, the uh, um, drivers give a history thing. Oh yes. Yes. So they're they're I, I didn't know some of the things they told me about and just riding around and getting on. So it's 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 moving people safely places things and connecting them. Right. So they were connected to those eight stops. Well the great tours that you provide school kids are down here yes. nonstop through the school year learning about the history, the shops, the dining the development of yes. real estate, yes. you have really, really put a package together that all cities should look at and see what a fantastic job you've done. It's amazing how much you've accomplished. It's amazing how many people utilize this area um, from local as well as out of town, a big draw coming yes. here to utilize the casinos, the um, districts here, the shopping districts, great uh, medical facilities, uh, attorneys, anything that you can need, you have it all based right here. That's, that's right. And I just did an interview with the, uh, a magazine uh, of why would people want to retire here. And uh, there are just so many things and so many opportunities. Right. And, um, and, and talking about what you said, uh, and the city itself is, um, we are to the point that um, we will be landlocked, i.e. St. Peter's will be on one, two sides of us. I tell Mayor Pagano, <laughs> Mayor Pagano, why did you annex all up here anyway? But, but the point is that we have to look to the future. Right. And uh, we've just got a lot of projects. Certainly the newest one is um, Sanford Farms. Mm -hmm. They're on the North Service Road before you, and their ribbon cutting took place and they're, they're starting to build. Mm -hmm. And it's gonna be a wonderful, wonderful development. And certainly the large, other largest piece of ground that we had in the city uh, was Emmaus Homes. And Emmaus Homes changed their uh, uh, direction of business, i.e. how they do it. And they've distributed, they have given each individual a, a home, and not given, but they are there to help and support them. Right. So the land was open, so Provence is open. They're off of Melwetter Parkway. Um, and that's the largest, but also going north. Then you have north of 370, you've got a new town and the MERS property between Newtown and coming down to 370, uh, that is available and, and uh, that will be uh, part of Newtown. You've got uh, Tom Hughes and, and uh, on, on the uh, Bosher Town Roadside, right. the growth there and the subdivisions and Charlestown and, 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 and it's just, it is just growing and, and growing. And the northern part, city line, is um, Highway B, okay. north of, of uh, Newtown. So that's the northern end of okay. the city. Um, but just a lot of good and exciting things. So right. I, I'm, I think it's just great and we're looking at things uh, um, along the river, where is our next way to go? You know, you, you go. as you know, when you're business planning and when you're planning your life, 
you look ahead, what is the big thing? What are the, what's the future? Right. And so we look at the future and we've got some things going and, and uh, it's, it's just gonna be, uh, it's just gonna be great. And I, I say to you, I appreciate the, you using the word you, it's not me, but St. Charles is happening. It's the people that come, it's the people that build, it's the people that see the momentum. Mm -hmm. and, and my philosophy is that momentum is there and it's growing. And we will, the road projects, we finished uh, uh, Drosty Road, mm -hmm. we're going phase one, we're going into phase two Drosty Road, eliminating a yellow light, going across, going south towards Highway 70, um, and there'll be um, um, the uh, one of the other large projects is um, West uh, is West Clay uh -huh. doing phase yes. two coming down and going up, uh, going down to uh, Lindenwood and up, uh, looking at um, uh, the Truman Road project that's being uh, renovated and done. Phase one is done. Phase two they're working on. They should have that done. Also, on uh, First Capitol Drive, you're coming down from Fifth Street and uh, <clears throat> to the river, and and um, I know it right in front of the hospital. Right. And I know it looks like chaos. It's going to look great by the end of the year. Absolutely. It's going to be just um, it, it it's an improvement. It is helping uh, the area and and that maintenance and that 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 everything that we need to do to make the city grow and do. And, and growth, and then also not talking about growth, 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 but you've got to keep that in mind, is the revitalization, for lack of another word, of the established neighborhoods. Right. We have to, it is up to the city to provide uh, opportunities for to give them help. And so there are, I think it's seven, has seven districts that have been created um, officially by the historical, um, I'm getting the name wrong, uh, by the uh, state of Missouri. Mm -hmm. and, um, and they have guidelines of what you need to do, but they're there and they have opportunities then mm -hmm. also to do and help financially to do things right. for their property. Right. Um, and just a lot of um, a lot just a lot of things going on. But just tagging on to what I said, that momentum is there right. and it needs to keep going. Absolutely. Because if it drops, if we don't if we if we go if we drop down it's hard to get it to push back right. up. We know managing an area like this is a great opportunity for you and us to be able to really enjoy what all St. Charles has to offer. Good. And you do a fantastic job. Thank you. I, I have to I say do. that. And I, I think that shows it and does. I and I, I work hard and I thank you for saying that. Absolutely. Absolutely. Well thank you again. Thank we you. appreciate you so taking the you time came. and we love it. Okay. We'll be shopping, dining, visiting That's as right. often as possible. If it's happening, it's happening in St. Charles. You got it. Okay, thank Thanks. you.